Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to take a look at Apple's remote app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now this is an app that basically turns your iDevice into a remote control for your iTunes account on your computer and your Apple TV. Now this works with your local Wi-Fi network, so every device has to be on the same Wi-Fi network, and it's able to communicate with those devices using home sharing. So the first thing you'll need to do in order to make the app work is to activate home sharing on all the devices. Now let's go to my Mac and turn on home sharing. Now it's very straightforward. All you need to do is create a username and password. And when you go to use home sharing, you'll just need to log on using these credentials. So once you turn on home sharing and you've downloaded the app from the App Store, you'll need to set up home sharing. So let's go to settings. And you can see I already have two devices on here because I have used this before. But what I need to do is go to home sharing to turn it on. And now it's asking for the username and ID I created on my iTunes account. Okay, I've logged on to home sharing. You can see I have several devices under our library. And you can see my Mac right here. This is my Mac library. And you can see my two Apple TVs, the second generation and the first generation. So this means I've already activated home sharing on these two devices. But I'm going to show you how to do that on the second generation Apple TV. So let me go over to that and show you right now. On your Apple TV, in order to activate home sharing, just go to computers, turn on home sharing. Click yes. Now because I've logged on previously, it has already saved my account information, so just transfer that to this session. So what you'll be prompted to do is enter in your username and password, the one you used up to set up home sharing on your iTunes account. You can also add an iTunes library from another computer in the house. So what you're given is this four digit number, and in order to activate this, you'll have to go to iTunes, go to your computer, and select Michael's iPhone 4 from the device list. Once you do this, you'll be prompted to enter this four-digit PIN. Now, in order to control my library, all I have to do is tap on it. And you can see uh, everything from my iTunes account on my iMac, so I can see my albums. So you can see all my albums, including their album artwork. So if I go to more, I can go to composers, genre. And I could go on and on. I have my podcasts. TV shows, which I have none. And we can go to artists. So let's just look up Coldplay and choose Parachutes. You can hear it's playing right now on my computer. And I can scrub it. Pause it. Skip to next track. Shuffle. Genius and more. We can't talk about the remote without talking about AirPlay. And AirPlay is down here. And when you tap AirPlay, you see a listing of all of the devices on your home network for which home sharing has been activated. So you see my computer, Apple TV, Michael's Apple TV, which is my first gen unit. So what you can do is you can select your computer and that will allow you to control playback of iTunes on that computer. You can select your Apple TV or you can select your other Apple TV or you can select all of them. So if I want to select multiple ones, I just check them. And you're even given these volume sliders. So if you want to change the volume in each individual device, you can go ahead and do so. And when you click play, so you can hear it's playing on everything right now. I click pause, they all go and pause. So let's click play and control the volume from here. So there you go. Let's go back to single and let's just choose the Apple TV. So now we have Coldplay playing directly on my home theater. And you can see I have the controls right here so I can click play. Pause. I can scrub it. Pause. Click next. Let's go ahead and load a movie. I'm going to go to my library. 
and I'm gonna go to more so I can go to movies and we're gonna play Star Trek so once again I can scrub it I can play it pause it skip to next track play etc so it's pretty instantaneous even though it's over Wi-Fi it's not using Bluetooth or IR sensors at all it's just using your local Wi-Fi now when you're using the remote app for the Apple TV the interface is a little different so let's go back let's go to settings and let's connect to the Apple TV now when using the remote for the Apple TV you, you're given this trackpad so you basically scroll around using your finger and if you want to select something let's go to movies just tap the screen so you get the idea and when you want to go back you just click menu and you go back this also gives you the ability to use a keypad so if you go to search instead of using the remote control to thumb around on numbers and letters you can instead tap it into the keypad on the iPhone or iPod so there we have it guys this is Detroit Borg with a demonstration of the remote app for the iPhone and iPod touch Thanks for watching.